Hey folks, everything new under the sun. Uh, Pete Beerth watched a video on this one. This is from uh, War News 247 um, dash GR. And it is Putin kind of raising uh, the threat level as the um, uh, warships are in the Mediterranean. Putin has come out and said uh, he has put MiG 31s on 24 7 patrol. And they do have the Kinzhal hypersonic missiles attached to them. And uh, the potential target is again is the aircraft carriers in the in the Mediterranean, uh, and so these are going back and forth in, in the in the Black Sea there, and uh, this is a significant escalation. I mean, what more do you need to um, uh, to make you believe that uh, this is some part of World War Three? This is the run up. This will be in the history books as the run up to World War Three. How did it start? Well, this happened, and then this happened, and then all of a sudden it took off. Uh, so this is pretty significant uh, stuff that's happening. Um, Putin made a surprise intervention warning the U.S. not to expand the war in the Middle East region in an effort to protect Iran and Syria. With this, we can also see the alignment of Russia with Iran and Syria, both uh, you know pl uh, players, including Turkey and other nations in uh, the war of Gog and Magog. Now, uh, some people say, well, the, the war of G uh, Gog and Magog happens at the end of the, the uh, millennial reign of Christ. And that is true. There's a dual fulfillment here. And, um, and many uh, Bible prophecy scholars uh, believe uh, that to be the case, the dual fulfillment uh, or dual, um, uh, dual, yeah, dual fulfillment of, of the same prophecy um, or, or similar things happening there. And, um, and so that's uh, what I believe to be the case. So 24-hour uh, patrol, MiG-31s, um, uh, carrying the uh, unstoppable Mach-10 Kinzhal missiles. All right. Uh, this is in the United States, and this is a warning and alert uh, to you um, to stay frosty, I guess, as they say in the military, to pay attention, to watch your back. Um, unfortunately, at this point, it doesn't matter where you live. You need to watch everybody. You need to keep your head in a swivel. You don't know who is going to act out. It was just in the U.S. where um, a couple days ago, um, an American, uh, an American man, um, you know, uh, born and raised, I guess, um, uh, murdered uh, an, an Arab uh, seven-year-old boy uh, because of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. And uh, so hate comes from uh, both sides. And, uh, you know, that that is absolutely occurring. Uh, so it's not just one side. It's not the left or the right or, or whatever it may be. Uh, there's, there's trouble on both sides and things will escalate because evil in the world is increasing. Uh, and the love of many will wax cold. Uh, that's uh, what the Bible says. And uh, because of that evil increasing, people will only start looking after themselves. But I think this is interesting and why you need to look over your shoulder at, at all times now and be secure. Have uh, emergency plans. Have safe rooms as they do in Israel. Because we don't know who is coming after us at this point. Um, even, even in my uh, specific location... There were recent uh, reports on the community page on Facebook about um, uh, break and enters. Um, um, you know, a, a school age girl uh, got home from school. Uh, her parents were off to work, and uh, she noticed some rummaging and some big uh, sneakers uh, in her, you know, front door. And uh, there was uh, noises of rummaging from the basement. Uh, so obviously, somebody was in the house. This is a community uh, not far away from where we are. Um, so the threat isn't necessarily Al-Qaeda, ISIS, or, or Hamas, whatever it may be, or sleeper cells. Uh, it could just be citizens, you know, who are down on their luck uh, or ha having hard times. And as the economy goes south, there will be more and more who are down on their luck, looking for easy grabs, easy things to steal. But if you get in their way, they may get upset. upset. They may panic. They may try and harm you as they try and get away. Most people will not want an interaction. But if you force that interaction, if you stand between them and the door, um, you may have some trouble on your hands. And so, again, this is not necessarily, you know, Israeli, Palestinian uh, or terrorists uh, or ISIS. Um, it could just be people uh, who are getting more violent, who are uh, getting more desperate in these last days as the economy goes south, and et cetera. And uh, here... Allnewspipeline.com, Feds issue emergency alert after largest cyber attack ever hits Internet's backbone. 
and could explode with catastrophic consequences by taking down America's critical infrastructure. If there was a significant cyber attack which took out your payment methods, and that has happened in the past, or your cellular, net, cellular networks, that happened in uh, across Canada um, uh, to a cell network, and cell phones were down, emergency systems were down, you could not pay with your Interact because some large uh, banks use that particular uh, provider. And, and that happened a couple of years ago, uh, that was. Uh, Rogers, I think it was. And uh, that caused, you know, kind of panic. People didn't know what to do. They couldn't pay for anything. They couldn't talk to people. They couldn't communicate. If people, if communication goes down for more than a few hours, uh, folks, people will go insane. People will go to Mad Max. They will get desperate. They will get worried. They will think something is happening, World War III, whatever it may be. And uh, they will panic. They will start panicking very, very quickly uh, if they can't pay for anything with their debit cards, if they can't make any calls, etc., and their Apple Pay doesn't work. They will panic. And uh, cyber attacks are coming. Communications will go down at some point. The first thing they will take out, these are probably all test incursions, these cyber attacks on the Internet's backbone. Uh, but when World War III actually starts, the first thing that will go down will be communications. You will have no idea it's happening. The government will not be able to communicate with you what is happening uh, to warn you, to say, you know, take shelter or this is a, uh, an international attack or, the, you know, the fact that World War III has started. They will not be able to communicate that to you. This is why you need to be uh, close to home and have alternate communication methods, i.e. ham radio, uh, family radio service, you know, CB radios. These sorts of things um, may help you get around um, cell phones being down. People will not last very long when their cell phones do not work anymore. U.S. military, another article, um, uh, October 18, 2023, U.S. military laying groundwork to reinstitute the draft. Why is that? Well, um, their numbers are dwindling uh, with the uh, U.S. Army wokeness and all, all the wokeness of all the armies. Uh, men... You know, real men don't want to join the army anymore. And with the forced uh, uh, forced jabs that happened in the last number of years, uh, you know, again, men, fighting age men, uh, had, don't really have interest in going in the army. And so they will start the draft, especially as uh, the U.S. Army also sees conflicts increasing, Ukraine, Russia, um, China, Taiwan, Israel, uh, Palestine, Iran, etc. Um, they see the need for more and more boots on the ground. And, uh, yeah, they, they will implement this. So this is coming. Um, here's, here's one. And again, why you need to watch your back. FBI director warns about rising threat of Hamas style terror attacks coming to the U S and again, not just Hamas style as, as evil increases, uh, your regular country folk will start turning on you because they will be desperate. They will be looking for food. They will be looking for a quick and easy thing to steal so they can sell it on Facebook marketplace or what have you. That's not new. Uh, that is happening even where I am, uh, which is uh, small towns. Uh, the, there are people, there are break and enters. Uh, there are, uh, you know, vans going around with, um, you know, uh, two men. Uh, and that, that ha happened recently. Um, kind of just looking for easy, easy grabs, easy, you know, a lot of people go around looking for old uh, copper lines to collect to, to sell scrap metal. Uh, well, they're also looking for just stuff to just to take and uh, to sell. Um, uh, they're desperate. They don't have any other jobs. And, uh, and this will increase in the last days uh, as people get desperate. I can't, I can't overstate that uh, enough. Um, people will be desperate. And so uh, even if you have money, there's going to be a lot of other people who don't have money, who don't have preps, uh, who will be looking for the folks who do have the stuff, and they will be coming after you, at least what you have. Um, that's why you need to hide what you have. You need to be covert about it. Um, you need to have a way to protect it. You need to have, uh, you know, your, your preps, your food stored in different locations. So if one, uh, gets taken, gets stolen, whatever it may be, uh, you have another store of, uh, cache of food, uh, somewhere or cache of, you know, all the other, um, uh, things that you, uh, need to, uh, ensure that you have at the ready, uh, for any, uh, potential, um, situation. This is happening in Ukraine, by the way. Ukrainian lawmakers vote to ban country's largest orthodox body. So in this case, they're not going after small minority groups. The largest orthodox church body is now um, going to be banned in Ukraine. Uh, 
And you say, well, they're never going to ban uh, Christians. They're never going to uh, ban faith. They are. They are doing that. <laughs> and so if you don't think this is coming against Christians, so all, you know, how much easier is it going to be to simply label Christians, uh, you know, bigots, haters, uh, right-wing terrorists, etc., and uh, uh, ban, uh, ban faith, ban religion uh, under the banner of health and safety for everybody else. So this is coming down the pipe, folks. This is happening to small minorities. This is happening to large uh, Orthodox churches like in Ukraine. And this is going to come to a town and city near you as your faith gets banned, folks. Um, we are live. We are losing our freedom, our liberties, and this is the way of the world. We are moving to totalitarian, totalitarian government, a world government, a world economy. Uh, you can't stop it. Uh, it's happening. It's happening before our eyes. Each of us has no uh, uh, real way to deal with it unless we vote. And uh, most people, you know, are woke or, or otherwise. And uh, and and actually, they like big government because they think big government supports all the poor people, um, which it does with your taxpayer dollars. But it doesn't actually resolve any issues. So the number of people on the government dole never stops increasing. And you get to a a, a tipping point where there's not enough people putting money into the system via taxes as there are drawing out of it, you know, on uh, a pogey welfare uh, and uh, free handouts and such. Yeah, but that's, you know, also uh, civilizations collapsed. The Roman Empire collapsed uh, as they went into this sort of socialist um, uh, society and, um, uh, and reliance on the government. And again, it's coming uh, to a town or city near you. Be prepared. There is uh, evil. There is violence. It's getting closer. Um, the feds are correct. Uh, you know, you need to you need to watch yourselves. There's uh, could be terror attacks coming. Uh, when the communications go down, um, you need to have alternate methods to uh, talk to people to get messages across. And uh, you know what? Uh, a good way to do it is good old fashioned handshakes with your neighbor. Know your neighbor's first name. Uh, know their likes and dislikes and uh, what what jobs they have and when they come and go and uh, and uh, come to some alliance with that so you can cross the road talk to your talk to your neighbor and uh, have some agreement and some support uh, with things you don't need to use uh, technology to communicate all the time so I'll leave there guys thanks for watching be prepared we're in the last days things are going to get hard uh, we will uh, enter a Mad Max uh, situation at one point as we head to World War III economic collapse and famine. Uh, all lead-ups to the riding of the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, which, again, I believe starts in the first three and a half years of the seven-year period. And uh, this is all stage-setting stuff. We are going there quickly, though, with the stuff happening in the Middle East.